In today's video, I'll show you two easy ways that you can draw price channels inside of Thinkorswim. Now, we'll practice using both methods on three different time frames. The index market that we'll focus in on is the S&P 500, so a chart of the SPY ETF, and the three time frames we'll practice on are the five minute time frame, the one hour time frame, and the one day time frame. My goal here is to really cover three different time frames for three different types of traders, the five minute for more of the day traders, the one hour for the shorter term swing traders, and the one day for those of you that have a longer term horizon. Now let's start first with a preview of what each channel looks like. So here's the most recent five minute channel inside of the SPY. We'll draw this together, but first I'd like to illustrate the idea of a channel inside of a channel. So here's our five minute channel. This is the one hour channel. Notice how the five minute channel is inside of the overall longer term one hour channel, both of which are still uptrends. Now, if we zoom this out even further to the daily time frame chart here, you can see that the one hour and the five minute channel are inside of the daily time frames channel, but our daily time frames channel is still very much a downtrend. Now, we'll cover both approaches to draw these specific channels in this video on all three time frames. So let's start with a clean chart of the S&P 500. And we'll start with a five minute time frame here first. Now let's start with a manual approach to draw a channel before we go into the more automated approach. Now on the five minute time frame, I like to start by zooming out on our chart. The most obvious low since we're in an uptrend here to me look like this low, this low, and this low. So let's use our trend line tool here, drawing tools, the trend line tool, and we'll use that to connect these bottom lows here as best as we can. So to me, this is a line that connects this point to this point to this point, and it does so in a manner that I think is fairly uh, accurate. Now, once I do that, I'll right click and click redraw as channel. Now that will give me a second line, which I can then expand on the upside. So here, if I were to say use this current high as our channel, we now have the bottom of the channel that we drew by connecting points A, B, and C. We have the top of the channel that we used, which is essentially a line parallel to our bottom line, and we chose the highest points at that particular uh, chart, or this particular trend rather. And once we have both of those, we can then configure settings like our midline. By default, you probably don't see one, so to go ahead and configure some of these settings, right click and then click Edit Properties. Now inside of Edit Properties, this is what mine looks like. I have the curve set to a cyan color, a normal style solid line, but I have the width set to three. So you'll notice my lines here are a little bit thicker compared to what your platform might be doing by default. I also have the 0.5 coefficient turned on and I have that set to a dashed line with one, which is, uh, I believe, a color of white. So this is how I get that 50% midline between our two channels turned on. Once you configure the settings for however you'd like, then click Save as Default, and that way Thinkorswim will save these settings and draw a channel using your custom settings every single time. So now here we have our five minute channel Let's go ahead and extend this to the right by right clicking and then clicking extend to the right. Now we can see this channel as price continues to fill itself out. Now we have the five minute, let's expand to the one hour time frame next. Now on the one hour time frame, if we zoom out, we can see we have some more lows that we can connect. Still very clearly an uptrend here on the shorter time frame, the more recent past. I think this is our low number one that we would probably want to connect with something like this, which would give us our trend line to the upside. Right click, redraw as channel. I'm going to expand this to our topmost point of this particular trend right here. Once we have that, I can right click, extend to the right, and now we have our one hour channel. Now this gave you two different examples of the manual approach. Let's finish through with the manual approach on the daily time frame. And then I'll show you the way using our linear regression tool inside of Thinkorswim, which makes that a bit faster. Now let's switch to the daily time frame here. You should be getting the same idea in your head. This time we're trying to connect our lower highs. So high one, high two, high three at the top. 
connecting all three of those, that's a nice clean line. Redraw as channel, we'll use the bottom, and we can go ahead and extend this to the right. So this now gives us our downtrending channel starting with our high at the beginning of this year. So three different examples, the five minute, the one hour, and the daily time frame channels, all drawn using the trend line tool. Now let's come back to our five minute time frame and let me show you how you can use the linear regression channel tool. That's this tool right here, or the regression channel tool, excuse me. If you click that, this tool takes two different inputs, but it will draw a channel for you automatically. So let's say our first input was using price action from this particular bar up until let's say current price action. Wherever you have the beginning and the end point, you'll notice we have an automatic channel that's drawn for us. So let me actually, to make this a little cleaner here, let's create a new drawing set and we'll call this regression channel. And let's compare how this five minute channel looks like compared to our overall longer term channel. So we're starting here. We have our last bar at this current moment. And this is what the regression channel gives us. You'll notice it's not as clean, it's not as perfect as the manual approach, but on the flip side, it's very easy to tell here, for example, that our trend is up. We have a general sense of what is the upper end of the trend. We have a general sense of what is the lower end of the trend. Much quicker, we just needed two points, not a whole lot of adjusting required. If we come into the one hour time frame chart next, same idea, we use our low to our current point here, and we have a channel that automatically draws for us that is, I think, a pretty dang good job for having been fairly automated using just a start and an end uh, point to draw the actual channel. Finally, our daily time frame here. We can take our starting point, we can take the current point as our end point, and that gives us our downtrending channel. You'll notice the regression channel approach was a lot faster. We did give up a little bit of accuracy. It was a little bit more obvious on something like, say, a five minute time frames chart. But on the longer time frames, I would argue we did a pretty good job uh, for being a lot quicker than say the manual approach. So hopefully in today's video, you get a sense of both how to draw a channel using the trend line approach, which is manual. And I think that's key to understanding how channels work. But if you're in a time crunch and you need to be a little bit quicker, you might find the regression channel tool to be a little bit more useful to get a very quick sense of what is the top of a trend, the bottom of a trend, and the overall direction of a trend as well done objectively for you. Hope you found this video to be useful. Take care everyone, good luck trading, and I'll see you in the next update.